Dollywood just announced Big Bear Mountain as their newest and longest roller coaster at the park. This new family coaster will take riders on a journey along the hillside of Wildwood Grove. And you're about to learn everything you need to know about Big Bear Mountain, as well as I'm going to tell you my thoughts on this project, my likes and dislikes, and near the end of the video, I'm going to tell you just how soon we can see the next coaster project at Dollywood, and most importantly, when it could get built. How exciting is it that we actually have a new roller coaster announcement as well as some other parks announcing stuff next week? I know the last couple years has been challenging for all of us and especially the theme parks. I'm just very glad and thankful that we're kind of back on track and we have something to get excited about like Dollywood announcing their brand new roller coaster that looks awesome. Now, let's get into the stats of Big Bear Mountain. This roller coaster will be built by Vacoma, which is great news because I think most of us who saw the animation kind of thought maybe Mauer or some other random company building this. But no, rest assured, it's Vacoma. I was also kind of thrown off on the train design because I figured a Vacoma multi-launch coaster would feature four riders per car instead of the individual two riders per car as you can see here. Big Bear Mountain will be the longest roller coaster at Dollywood at 3,390 feet long. The ride's going to feature a maximum speed of 48 miles an hour and a ride duration of 99 to 104 seconds. I don't know about you, but it's kind of interesting how they couldn't really pinpoint the exact duration of the ride just yet. So does it vary on the weight of the train or what? Because 99 seconds to 104 seconds, that's a 5 second difference. So it'll be very interesting to see exactly what duration the ride will have once it's open. The tallest part of Big Bear Mountain will feature a height of 66 feet. And while that's not very big, I will say I'm very curious to see how the ride plays off the terrain. And I think it's safe to assume that Big Bear Mountain will feature at least three trains, hopefully four, because each train only holds 20 passengers. And good news for the younger thrill seekers because the maximum height requirement for Big Bear Mountain is only 39 inches. That means that kids 39 inches and taller get to ride four amazing roller coasters at that height. Because you have Whistle Stop Chaser, you have Dragon Flyer, Fire Chaser Express, and now Big Bear Mountain, making Dollywood arguably the best theme park for young kids if they want to get on some great newer roller coasters. Come on SeaWorld, take a page out of Dollywood's book because it's great to have a variety of height requirements for your roller coasters, that way more people get to ride different rides and if you're under 51 inches, guess what, you can still ride some roller coasters. But anyways, back to Big Bear Mountain, because this roller coaster really does look great and I gotta say, I love how they placed it, or I should say I guess wedged it in with the rest of Wildwood Grove. Now another thing to remember here is that this project I believe was about to get announced right before COVID because Dollywood actually canceled an announcement regarding, at the time, their largest investment in the park's history. Now that could have been the resort they just announced last year or it could have been Big Bear Mountain. Either way, this new roller coaster is going to do huge things for Dollywood. Now let's get into what I like about Big Bear Mountain. And the first thing I noticed, and I'm sure you did too, is the a very bright orange track color. I really think this will pop along the hillside of Wildwood Grove and the only roller coaster at Dollywood that currently has that same type of color is Whistle Stop Chaser which is a very small kid coaster because this roller coaster is really going to pop in the Wildwood Grove area of the park. Now I might get some hate for this but I really don't care for the whole onboard audio aspect of roller coasters and the reason why is because a lot of times it never really works so I just think it's one more hassle dealing with these multi-million dollar machines and basically one more thing that could go wrong. With saying that, I really do hope that this onboard audio really does work all the time and you can actually hear it and it plays a big role in the entire experience of the new roller coaster. Plus, this will be the first roller coaster at Dollywood to feature onboard audio. The most talked about element of Big Bear Mountain has to be the part where the train dives underneath the rock work and waterfall. Not only is this going to be great as you're riding the coaster, but it's going to be located right along the main path of Wildwood Grove, creating a great photo opportunity and just a spot to sit down and watch the new roller coaster fly right past you. 
So hats off to Dollywood on this great move and placement of this awesome looking element. But I do have a question, and that is, where is the rest of the rock work? And more on that in a minute. Another thing that I'm looking forward to with Big Bear Mountain is night rides. It appears that this new Vacoma is not going to have a whole lot of light around it. Making for some really good night rides, you can pull yourself away from Thunderhead and Lightning Rod. And again, you have to love the 39 inch height requirement. This means that I can bring my son on the roller coaster as well as a lot of younger thrill seekers get to enjoy Big Bear Mountain instead of being disappointed and waiting for the older kids or their parents to ride it. And the last thing at the top of my head that I really like about Big Bear Mountain is the new entrance plaza. It appears that Dollywood is really going to take this whole entry plaza to the next level to really immerse you into this whole theme of the new coaster. And I'm all for that. Now before I get to my dislikes about Big Bear Mountain, if you're planning a trip to Dollywood, then you have to check out my Dollywood Insider Guide because you're going to learn so many tips that are must-knows before you visit this one-of-a-kind theme park in Tennessee. Not only will you save a lot of time, you're also going to save a lot of money just by watching this great video. And you can find the link in this video's description. Also, if you're wondering where the best places to stay around Dollywood are, then you have to check out my other video, the top 10 places to stay in Pigeon Forge that can be found on my second channel, Brandon's Top Recommended. Now I'm not that critical when it comes to parks and roller coasters, and I do that on purpose because I try to create more positive out of anything, but for the sake of this video, I do want to share kind of my dislikes for this new coaster. And the first one is, I really think Dollywood should have had part of this coaster be located inside of a show building, something along the lines of Verbolton at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, or even Hagrid's down at Islands of Adventure. I just feel like that would have been really cool to see if Dollywood could have done something like that. And with only 20 passengers per train, I really do feel like capacity should be a major concern for this new coaster. And at the time of this video, I really do not know if the park's going to have three or four trains in operation for this new ride. But when you mix in a 20 passenger train with a 39 inch height requirement, that means most of the people visiting Dollywood are probably going to want to ride this attraction, so it's going to be very, very busy. I just hope that this ride is going to feature a single rider line. That way, every single seat will be occupied every time a train launches out of the station. According to the park, this roller coaster costs, I believe, $22 million, which is the largest single investment in Dollywood history, which is kind of crazy to think this ride costs more than Lightning Rod, just because this coaster really doesn't do a whole lot. It's not very tall, though it is long and it does offer three launches. But Vacomas really aren't that expensive to begin with. So it is interesting to see exactly where this money is going to go to. Will it be even more theming, which I hope, or what? Because the layout itself doesn't really feel like it's worth $22 million. And for what we've seen today, the rest of the ride really doesn't have a whole lot of theming as far as what we've seen so far. So I really hope Dollywood does not pull a Busch Gardens Williamsburg and decide to not add any theming around the rest of the ride. And yes, I'm looking at you, Pantheon. And when you think about bears, you obviously think about woods. So I really hope the park will be able to add in some trees around the layout. That way, it adds to the experience. And finally, I must admit, I'm really not a huge fan of the name. To me, Big Bear Mountain seems more of a themed area name opposed to a roller coaster. So I just feel like the name of the actual roller coaster could have been a little bit more exciting maybe or something along those lines. So now that we know about Big Bear Mountain, what comes next? What's Dollywood going to build in a couple years after this? And I bet it's going to be a thrill coaster because the last one was built in 2016 when the park opened Lightning Rod. But it's clear Dollywood really knows their demographics because I think Lightning Rod's just a little bit too intense for the average visitor that goes to Dollywood. So I definitely do not see a roller coaster as intense as Lightning Rod, which is good news and bad news, I guess, depends on how you look at it. But I predict, and I've said this in past videos, where I think the next roller coaster to come to Dollywood after Big Bear Mountain will either be a B&M Hyper or a Giga Coaster. Now I could also see Mach come in and build them a Hyper Coaster. I just feel like this type of roller coaster would do so great for Dollywood since a Hyper Coaster or even a Giga Coaster does not offer that intense of a ride experience. 
Now, of course, it all depends on what type of giga coaster you build. Because if Dollywood builds something like I-305, then that's a different story. But when you have something like Orion or Fury, then it's different. And if Dollywood does not want to go the giga route, then I definitely could see the park adding a 220 to 240 foot tall hyper coaster. Something like this would add a much needed high capacity and reliable roller coaster that most people would love. Maybe Dollywood turns to mock rides to build them an extreme spinning coaster just like Time Traveler at Silver Dollar City. We already know that Hersian Entertainment and Mock Rides really like working together, so I think it's a real possibility. And after riding Time Traveler, I must say, while the ride does look like it's intense, it really isn't that bad at all and is a very tamed riding experience. But I really do feel like a Hyper or a Giga will be the most impactful roller coaster that Dollywood could add after Big Bear Mountain. And I do think there's a chance, and I really do hope this comes true, and that is Mach could be on the table for building the park a Hyper coaster since we know Mach Rides does build Hypers. And for what I've heard, a mock hypercoaster is better than any B&M hypercoaster out there. So my fingers are crossed. If Dollywood does build a hyper, then it does come from mock rides. Now regarding Dollywood's next roller coaster, the last time the park added a roller coaster that featured inversions was Wild Eagle way back in 2011. So I think it's safe to assume that the next roller coaster will at least feature one inversion or two. And at the moment, B&M hypers do not include inversions, but Mock Ride Typers do. Now as to when the next roller coaster will open, Big Bear Mountain was a massive investment. So I definitely think the park's going to kind of ride the wave for a few more years of this awesome looking roller coaster. Which leads me to this. I think that in 2026, Dollywood will be building their newest mega roller coaster. So those are my thoughts on Big Bear Mountain. Please let me know all your thoughts regarding this new roller coaster, as well as my predictions about the future of the park with the hyper coaster and potentially a Giga or even a Mach Extreme Spinner. After all, this is theme park predictions, so I always like to add a prediction to my videos just to kind of make it more fun. But remember, predictions are just guesses, and I'm not perfect, I'm not God, so I'm not always right, even though I try to be. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.